What's your name and where are you from? Jamel Cole from Tampa, Florida. I'm Laura and I'm from Ireland. My name is Pandila and I'm from Denmark. And my name is Karen, I'm from Norway. And I'm Oscar, I'm also from Norway. My name is Masha and I am technically from the US but I'm originally from Russia. What are you doing in South Korea? Uh, we're visiting a friend and just looking around. Um, I'm studying abroad at Iwa University. It's okay. um, more in the center of so yeah. Um, I'm currently in the military, but um, I'm practicing uh, being a photographer, freelance photographer. Oh. Okay, so I'm from Spain. Uh, I work for a Spanish pharmaceutical company here. What would you say like your first impression of Korea is? I think it's a really safe country, a country where people are usually polite to foreigners mm. and where people can generally go around without a problem or uh, any danger, I would say. Um, it's very cultured. Um, the fashion is very, I love the fashion here. Um, I've traveled to uh, Europe, so it's very different fashion culture from America and Europe. Mm -hmm. um, so. I really love the fashion here. I think it's a big city, but it's people act like it's a small city. Like everywhere you go, you can ask people for help, even though it, you might feel stupid for doing so. Yeah. Um, but no one like thinks you're stupid for asking. Uh, They're happy to help. It's not like London or New York. No, <laughs> no, well, no. Upstate yeah. Paris. Uh, before I come, uh, 2000. Mm. So it's very hard mm. uh, and for foreigner. But now it's uh, very good and, uh, you know, law is uh, for uh, foreigner. Mm. It's very good. Mm. Yeah, before it's uh, very tired, very hard, but now it's very good. Um, well, I actually came from Japan through, um, I took a flight to Busan. So mm. my first impression was, I think, a little bit different than a lot of people would have because I think Busan is much more... Seoul has uh, much more foreigners. I think Busan is also very foreigner friendly, but I would say like arriving there, I felt like immediately much more engulfed in the culture. Mm -hmm. Like I, when I was on the train, there was certain points where I was like immediately just surrounded completely by Korean people. And I thought yeah. it was interesting. People are, I wouldn't say they're rude, but they're yeah. just, I guess it's just the culture of how people are here. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a bunch of uh, hurry up. Yeah. Hurry up and you know go, get go, to go. where you gotta go, get to where you gotta go. So yeah, uh, you know the system is very good. If you go for example hospital and uh, go bank, the uh, system is good, very good. Yeah, okay, You're very comfortable. Yeah, I think it's really safe, and you can see that people are leaving their phones at the table. They don't worry about anything. Mm. It's uh, yeah, it's quite similar to Norway. Do you speak uh, Korean at all? Just a little bit enough to like get by and like like just like buy something not that much I'm currently studying so yeah. hopefully eventually I mean I tried learning it for the first four months here but I'm quite busy at work so I don't have much time for it I wish I could learn but it's kind of hard I think no <laughs> he speaks a few words now oh, okay. I just tried to learn how to say hi before. Oh, say, oh, okay. um the basics the basics <laughs> I use I use Google Translator a lot. A lot. <laughs> we have a bit. Yeah, yeah, we speak a little bit, and yeah. that's how we all met. Actually, yeah. we were doing a Korean class. Yeah, and, and we met online. Do you feel like as a foreigner that knows like minimal Korean, it's you can get by? I think for the most part, especially in like city area, you can get by. I think most of the time you can just say like ne or like kamsamida, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I think most people will get what you're. Thanks. Yeah, and then they appreciate it. But it's kind of hard whenever you like someone will do something nice for you. Like there was a lady that gave us a ride from the Airbnb we were staying at, and I didn't know how to say anything besides kamsamida, so it's yeah. kind of hard to like show as much like all the emotion that I want. Yeah. yeah. Would you say like there's a main difference between like Busan and Seoul with regards to like knowing Korean or? Um, I would say yeah I feel like Seoul is just much more even the menus have much more English on them uh. I think and I think like yeah I think now Busan is almost the same level like from what I've noticed I think there's also probably a lot more Japanese tourists so that's also really a nice. big thing there but yeah. I would say Seoul is probably still you know okay. much more yeah I mean there's people who don't speak English at all but mm. anywhere you in general any, anywhere you go you can uh, find someone who does or if not with the translator on the phone okay. you can get around really uh, easily uh, I think this area is really international uh, so I think it's easier here than if you go a bit further out yeah, yeah. Um, 
but yeah, a lot of people don't speak English. Yeah, but mostly younger people speak English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so here most of the menus and the restaurants are translated. English. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I believe I believe saying uh, thank you, you know, just a couple words here and there, yeah. you'll you'll be okay. They can um, if you download a good app, <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you have some basics, it's super helpful, and I think some of the locals appreciate it. Um, and even if they see you trying, they like that a bit more. Yeah, um, they don't expect it, because mm. um, a lot of times you go to shops, they look at you and they start speaking English anyway. Yeah. Um, which is kind of froze, we are like, yeah. no, no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have a bit, I think it's, it's helpful. Have you guys gone to kind of the outskirts of Seoul, or like the smaller towns where they don't speak? or? Um, I think the only, we went to Busan, um, oh, okay. which was a bit different. They spoke a little less English down there. Towards the outskirts of Seoul, especially, you will need to speak Korean. Yeah, yeah, you need to speak yeah, in the, And in the small like markets and mm. everything, like if you go to a big department store or convenience store or something, they always know what you uh, say, even though they may not get the, f the full oh, picture of it, yeah. they can pick up words. Do you feel like here compared to other places, is it safe? I think it's very safe. Yeah. Um, CCTV is everywhere, so yeah. um, I don't feel no threat. Yeah. Whatsoever being here, yeah. so safe. Yeah, we have. I have no problem walking around here at no. night time. None. Yeah, yeah. I've walked home yeah. uh, to our flat multiple times at 4 a.m. in the morning ish, and there's never been any problems. Not even people like you see drunk people everywhere, yeah. but none of them approach you at all. Uh, so really safe. That's the one thing about here. Actually, people tend to like keep to themselves. Yeah, and uh, not in a bad way, but it's. Um, they mind their own business, <laughs> yes. kind of kind of vibe. Um, so they're tr they really try not to disturb other people. Um, so regardless if they're drunk or not drunk, they do that, which is is nice as well. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I would say it's better than Spain safety wise, for instance. Yeah, I'd say I feel pretty safe. I um, even like going out at night or like clubbing and stuff. There's some points where I don't necessarily feel comfortable in a club, but I'd say I still feel safe. Like, I don't think anything's gonna happen to me. I just, you know, it's general clubbing culture where, you know. Could you elaborate on, like, you don't feel necessarily comfortable or? I think it's also part of being a foreigner. I think when you go to a club in, like, the US, for instance, um, I feel like I blend in a lot more. And just in general, I think in the US, there's much more, like, a bigger ratio of people like at the club like here I feel like there's kind of much more men than women at the club in my opinion but maybe I'm going to the wrong clubs because I think like especially Hongdae and places like that are much more they have much more men than yeah, women clubs. yeah I mean of course anything can happen anywhere but I think it's a country where um, if you do what what you're supposed to do nothing will, will ever happen to you yeah 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 very safe yeah I feel very safe because I saw it, uh, maybe uh, some girls uh, drunk too much, yeah. maybe uh, night time 2 or 3 o'clock, mm -hmm. but uh, they safe, nobody touch, yeah. you can't, yeah, oh. very safe, yeah. That's good, yeah. okay. Yeah. And of course CCTV too much uh, CCTV everywhere. CCTV and it's, it's cool. law is very good, maybe you can call 112 and maybe within 3 minutes they come. What would you say the negatives are of Korea? Sometimes they can be rude, or yeah. they can come off as being rude. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, really, I haven't found any negatives other than, you know, I wouldn't say it's a negative. I look for a lot of American food sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And I can't find it or, you know, yeah. um, they don't have any English so or somebody yeah. doesn't speak English. But yeah. I have to realize I'm in somebody else's country. So Fair. I can't expect them to, Fair. you know, know English or have stuff that yeah. I like That's in their, in their country. Yeah, nice. Would you say, like, as a foreigner, uh, do you feel like you get a lot of looks? Oh, of course, yes. We definitely yeah. get looks, but um, I don't think it's like in a bad manner. It's more yeah. like, oh, you know, yeah. it's, it's something that's different. It's, it's not a norm. Have people discriminated you at all? Or? Um, I haven't. I haven't experienced any discrimination. Uh, yeah, before is uh, you know before ten years uh, to twelve years uh, racism too much. If even you go no, Seoul is very good. Seoul and big cities like, and you go even uh, backward areas. So, you feel some racism like feel yeah is there something about korean culture that specifically that you really like or i mean i think what i really like is their respect there's between people usually so and the respect they have for the elder people and how they treat each other with well a lot of respect which sometimes it's kind of weird to foreigners because we don't have that in our culture but uh 
I think it's nice to see and something shocking, but at the same time, nice, I would say. I like oh, the sorry. politeness of it. Oh, like, yeah. I like, um, in Denmark, we shake hands a lot when we meet people and here it's more of a bow and everything, even when you go to a convenience store and it's just a quick exchange. I feel like that's so polite um, and it just, it's uh, respectful to do even as a foreigner. And I, I see people um, admiring you for doing so. And it can be e anything, it doesn't even have to be a bow, just like speaking a little bit of Korean or um, uh, like replying to the things they say yeah. like when you leave the store when you leave a restaurant or when you enter a restaurant um, so yeah I like how there's I feel like Korean people are very interesting because sometimes they'll have like a poker face yeah. and you don't know whether they'll do something like super nice or super like I don't not not super mean but they just like don't care sometimes they'll do whatever they want to yeah. and I think I've had some interesting instances where I've given this lady my seat and she gave me mandarins I don't know oh. where she like pulled them out of her bag yeah. and there was another lady who saw me eating like a hot dog like one of the cakes mm. and she saw me eating it and she ran up to me and gave me a coffee it was like an elderly lady and she was like here like you were just eating food you should have something to drink Aww, and I think so it's sick. yeah fashion I love the fa I love the fashion yeah. I've, I've been here uh, two months and I believe I've been to Seoul I want to say at least 15 times Ooh. and I always come out here I take the bullet train yeah. um, I always come out here and um, I stay sometimes for the weekend and yeah. I just walk around I don't yeah. even have an agenda I just walk around yeah, yeah, find yeah. new stuff yeah um, Google new things, TikTok. I've been using TikTok, yeah, finding stuff on TikTok. So, yeah, yeah. So, and join interviews. You know, yes, interviews, <laughs> interviews. Is, is What's your favorite Korean food? Oh, tteokbokki. I'm obsessed with it. I've had it every day. Oh. <laughs> I recently um, tried uh, jajangmyeon. Oh, yeah, oh. I love that. All the soups. All oh, the soups. Yeah, and okay. dumplings. Ramen. Yeah. yeah, ramen is his favorite. Yeah, I mean, I really like Korean barbecue. That's, I mean, it's a really easy way to eat meat and really cheap meat yeah. and then I don't know if you're interested in like beers or stuff there's plenty of uh, beer places there's mm. plenty of coffees as well mm, I would have to say maybe Popoki. <laughs> uh, mandu mandu oh yeah, yeah I, 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 I've just recently started like dumplings um I didn't like it before try one now that's all I like I like all I crave is <laughs> is man do now. What's your favorite K-pop? Oh, mine's uh, 80s. Um, I like BTS and Seventeen. I'm really not interested in that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't come here for the music or the, the film industry. Fa favorite K-drama? Itaewon class. Oh. <laughs> yes. Hence over here. Um, <laughs> mine's Crash Landing on You. Yeah, I when I was come here in 2000, Chungu ke Khedan. It mean uh, uh, Paradise uh, Steps. Uh, yeah, I saw uh, this drama and uh, I too much like